time again for another installment of The Basics, and on today's show I'm responding to a viewer request, and that was asking about tips for the seed phase of the game. So, let's get started, shall we? Now, let's face it, the seed phase is annoying, it's time consuming, many of us hate it, but it's a necessary part of the game, so I'm going to offer some tips and tricks that I use when starting the seed phase. And it starts with the missions. And it's not what the missions are because you've already selected them for your deck when you constructed it. It's more about where you put them and when you put them. What do you want the space line to look like? Where do you want these things to go and why? If your opponent shares missions that have certain locations similar to yours, i.e. Badlands or Neutral Zone, they're going to have to go next to each other. Case in point, one of the biggest things with your space line is where you're going to want to locate your initial outpost. Where is it going to go? Are you going to put it at one end, the other, in the middle, closer to one side? I've talked about this a little bit in previous episodes, but I've never really elaborated on it because placing your outpost is a huge decision because that determines pretty much how much of the space line you have to play with before you meet up with your opponent. Doorways. What doorways did you put in your deck and where are you going to put them and how are you going to use them? Doorways are an integral part of a deck, especially the seed phase, because you're going to want to have certain doorways put out before the game starts. And this is more prevalent in a Borg deck or any deck that uses Transwarp Network Gateway because you're going to have to have multiple copies. And the doorways are some of the first things out. Artifact placement. Where are you going to put your artifacts and what artifacts are you using? Now obviously you're going to tailor artifacts to, to the deck you're using, but at the same time you're going to want to strategically place artifacts under space and location so that you can get to them and use them to their full effect. So this is where you might want to have a couple copies of a certain artifact or have multiple artifacts that do similar things and spread them out so that you'll encounter them. Finally, one of the most important things that I can ever offer about the seed phase is pairing for dilemmas. And I've also mentioned this in passing on previous episodes. And these are dilemmas that work well with each other and or complement each other that are going to be going under your opponent's space line location. Now you're going to have more than two. You're going to have up to four. But for example, on a space mission, uh, sorry, on a planet mission, I can put down Punishment Zone, but I can also put Berserk Changeling because it can go anywhere. Both of these dilemmas kill people. Misguided Activist and Zaldan. Again, it kills personnel, and in the case of Misguided Activist, VIP. I'm going to want to put dilemmas in one area that do a lot of killing of personnel, so my opponent can beam down to that planet and say there's four dilemmas underneath that kill personnel, I could potentially wipe out his whole away team even before he gets to the last dilemma. Then you have obstructions like uh, malfunctioning door and framed for murder. They're going to slow down or stop crews that are trying to attempt that mission. You want your dilemmas to complement each other or work to do the same thing. It's very important that when you're choosing the dilemmas for your deck that you keep this in mind because they're going to need to be paired before they put under the space line. Basically the seed phase is its own strategy in itself and one of the biggest things that you need to do in the seed phase is pay close attention to what your opponent is doing. Where he puts his missions, where he puts his outposts and see how many cards he's loading under the missions in terms of the dilemmas. You can't see the dilemmas until you encounter them, but make note of the amount of dilemmas he's putting under those missions. You might get a rough idea of how many things you have to face and or clear before you can complete that mission and score the points. That's all for today. Have a great day, everybody.